If every one of your opinions is popular, you would be a Nazi. <laughs> I saw this thing today where it was like, um, it was a teacher that said he does this exercise with his class and, and it's like, uh, you know, I asked them uh, during the time of slavery if they would be abolitionists. And of course, they all agreed that they would be abolitionists. And he's like, but of course, that's insanity because none of them would. They would all go along with it because... Yeah people go along with whatever's popular. He's like, would you be an abolitionist if it meant you were going to lose your friends? If it meant that you were going to be ostracized? If it meant that you were going to, people were going to treat you like a criminal? Would you do it then? No, because look at people now, right? They're, they're, they're complying to all, um, complying with all of this shit. And they all, they're all getting the same information as everybody else. So they at least know, even if you don't think that we're going into like communism or a technocracy, or you don't think 5G is going to blast our brains, whatever you think, you at least know there's some fuckery going on. You at least yeah. know that. You've got to at least know that there's something fucked up going on beyond a virus and racism. And those people are still choosing to go along with it, right? Because yeah. because it's not it's not acceptable yet to go against it. If you're going against it, you're you're treated like shit and you lose all your yeah. friends and your family and shit, right? So you're asking the question wrong. You should ask them about something that's taboo now. Yeah, it's real easy to advocate for shit that's popular. It's really easy. Yeah. Try advocating for uh, for vaccine injured children. See what happens to you. A lot more important for people to be well liked than for people to do the right thing. Think of the normalization of slavery the same way we think of the normalization of abortions. So there was just a time where it was like, yeah, black people are slaves and uh, that's just what they are. Like, I don't know, I've never known anything different. Just the same as people go, yeah, as, as long as the baby's not out of the body, it's not a human and we can kill it. It's not that they're like, that they have these evil, these evil intentions toward children or babies. That's just, it's been normalized. So they're like any baby that is not full term is just cells. I don't even want to get started on the cells thing because it's like, I don't know how long people think a baby cells for. They think it's cells the whole time <laughs> until it comes out. But they've just decided that it's okay to murder babies. In a hundred years from now, if people stopped aborting babies and they lived differently and then heard about what we did, they would think that's insane. There was an infant genocide back then. Like yeah. people were just murdering babies left, right, and center. That's insane. I would never. And it's like, no, man, if you came back to our time, it was like the most acceptable, normal thing you could do was kill a bunch of babies. A great example of, you know, the difference between malicious intent and something just being normalized is uh, circumcision. If you talk about female genital mutilation, and that's what we still call it, people think it's disgusting, vile. Yep. What a barbaric thing to do. But male circumcision is totally fine. Nobody calls it genital mutilation. No one calls it male genital mutilation. It's just a circumcision. Yeah. Keeps it cleaner, looks good, all good. It's the same yeah. thing. You're doing the same thing. And people, oh, it's not the same because they like cut their clits off and stuff. They cut off a lot of the parts of the penis. Like people end up with pretty fucked up penises yeah. a lot of the time. They, they get botched. They, they, they get botched. botched. Uh, I, I, I've heard of people where like they um, uh, they cut too much and then, and then now when they get erect, it hurts. Uh, it yeah. takes away sensation. It, it can do all kinds of things, but but because we've normalized it, we can literally just take the male and female genitals. One thing is the worst thing you've ever heard of, and the other thing is fine. Same thing yeah. with uh, what we do with with Chinese people. They're disgusting. They eat bats. They eat dogs. They eat puppies. Can you believe yeah. it? But we eat, we eat pigs, which we know. We already know pigs are smarter than dogs. They're generally more affectionate. They're very sweet animals, as are cows. Nobody calls anyone here a barbarian for eating bacon. Unreal. 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 Yeah. People are fucking uh, unreal, man. You are right now treating white people like they treated the Jews. That's exactly what you're doing. And you are no better than them. Sorry, man. If every issue you agree on is the popular opinion. Then you, you know. Then you would be a Nazi. Actually, that's a really good way of putting it. If every one of your opinions is popular, you would be a Nazi. There was no. nothing about Nazis that w that were going against the grain. That was the popular opinion. It's awful. Like you, you know, you know people who are white who are really decent, good, loving, gentle people, being treated like this. 
and you're like it like it makes you want to separate yourself from anyone who's going along with it because i'm like you're a fucking piece of shit man you're a piece of shit to do this to people you're a fucking piece of shit and you're no you are no better than the white supremacist you are no fucking better no not at all and, and I, I do think the most effective way is having that example if you could pull from history and show examples this is you're doing exactly what they did yep you're word for word in some cases you're saying exactly what they said yeah man you know what i mean like yeah i think it kind of hits harder because mm-hmm. people separate themselves yeah like that's impossible to be now we'll never see that ever happen again people mm-hmm. are different so i'm like it's not no it's not it, it, so you have the potential for evil inside of you and you're yeah. gonna learn that pretty quickly. When things get to such an outrageous place like they are now, I actually deal with it a lot better. So like the more outrageous and ridiculous this shit gets, the more accepting I am of it because it just gets to such a stupid level where I'm like, what can I do other than laugh? It's like trying to argue with an actual crazy person. You don't argue with crazy people. When a crazy man comes up to you in the street and they're like, there are unicorns falling out of the sky. You don't go, absolutely not. And I will tell you why you're wrong. You just walk the fuck away. And that's exactly how I feel now. It always brings me back to my original perspective on life, which makes me feel a lot better. That free will is essentially an illusion. I think you're always pulled toward your destiny. Things are gonna constantly be working to get you to that destiny. We do have free will in the sense of, you know, you can you can take a different route, but it's basically like a GPS. You know, you take the different route and it just goes rerouting and then just takes you back. Wherever we're meant to end up in this lifetime on this planet, we're going to get there anyway. Not in terms of each individual, but like what happens to the earth as a collective. Our experience as a collective on this earth. If we're gonna end up in the socialist technology technocracy that's where we're gonna end up if we're not meant to get there nothing i say or do is really gonna change that i'm starting to get into that place where i'm like if if that is where we are meant to go which i don't believe we are we can do a lot of things in between to try to reroute or whatever but if that's where we're supposed to end up in this reality then it's just gonna happen anything can happen in between but it won't change the outcome of the of the the major events on earth that's exactly what my perspective well, yeah. I think I told you a couple of times. And I know, because you're always saying that to me. You're like, I know you want to save the world, but you're not going to. <laughs> no, I don't mean it. Like... This has really helped my um, my mental and emotional health. Is being like, ah, if we go to the FEMA camps, what's the worst that can happen? I'll die. Maybe the, the fact that you're contributing to the good, you know, contributing to the good side, maybe that has like a whole different... Maybe that has nothing to do with the outcome. It just has something to do with your own outcome. If you're fighting for evil, maybe that just determines what, you know, what the rest of your uh, existence will be like if you're adamantly fighting for evil. Exactly. I think, I think that, um, that's a good way to look at it. Like the deterministic nature of society can go a certain way, but the way you end up in that society is controllable by you. Yeah. Do you let yourself get corrupted and become part of that?